so what job do I need to do to be a digital nomad? And it's like, no, you bring the job. Then you just decide to go travel. <laughs> take different approaches to becoming digital nomads. I've met plenty of people who on a whim just sort of quit their job and you know buy a one-way plane ticket. I was sort of not like that at all. <laughs> I really thought it through and, and I sort of made this spreadsheet of all the things that I wanted to do, both personal things that I needed to accomplish before doing it and then also things to get my business started. So it was sort of a lot of pieces that I wanted to have in place before making that jump. I definitely met a lot of people who decided to become a digital nomad, but really were sort of romanticizing what that would look like. You know, you look at my Instagram and you're gonna see lots of photos of, of beautiful moments and fun adventures, out hiking and out with friends. It's easy to forget sometimes that I'm also spending a lot of time on my computer working very hard. Just remember that being a digital nomad, like the digital is a really important part of that and doing whatever it is you need to do to make sure that you're supporting your clients. Not everyone is on the same page about remote work. So I definitely met with prospective clients who were like, what, you're in Asia? How are you gonna do work for me? Um, and I, so I think just, you want to both educate potential clients, but also make sure you're finding the right clients who are going to respect what you do and understand what the value that you bring to the table. It's all about setting those expectations up front and then over communicating to make sure people know we're on the same page. Make sure wherever you're going that you're not just you know, sticking inside cozy expat bubbles. There's no point traveling 6,000 miles away if you're only gonna interact with other people from your same country, right? Like make sure you're getting out there and finding time to explore and really getting to enjoy the place where you are. If you're a small business owner and you're thinking about becoming a digital nomad, there's a lot to consider, right? First is thinking about your business and how you're gonna transition that to being location independent. It's really important to know how you're gonna get your client. Making sure that you have all the tools and software that you might need. There's a whole other layer when it comes to immigration laws. And then there's the whole aspect of traveling. There's lots of details and things to figure out every time you go to a new place. So you just need to build in the time and the understanding for yourself to make sure that you have whatever you need to get set up and be comfortable. No matter what your situation is, no matter what your background is, if this is something that you really want, you can absolutely make it work. Oh.